Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 335. In today's episode, we work partners with Rent the Runway. At WeWork, you can rent office space. Now you can also rent clothes. The co-working giant is partnering with designer rental service Rent the Runway. Rent the Runway is staging 15 drop-off points at locations in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Miami. Rent the Runway members can enter a WeWork drop-off location and return their items without having to go all the way into the office areas and can also immediately order new items to rent. WeWork members will also receive discounted Rent the Runway Rent the Run. <laughs> I have trouble <laughs> saying that. Rent the Runway memberships and WeWork will also host Rent the Runway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it in because I, I don't want to be here all day. We work will also host Rent the Runway pop ups at several locations and spotlight 10 influential female WeWork members in a Woman of the Future campaign featuring fashion photos and commentary. The partnership with WeWork offers Rent the Runway, another bricks and mortar marketing channel. The company currently has five stores in major metro markets, including one in the Neiman Marcus department store. WeWork CFO Artie Minson considers the Rent the Runway partnership to be one more way the company is moving into retail. WeWork is also expanding its We Market concept dedicated to selling products made by WeWork members to more than 500 locations over the next few years, along with plans for an e commerce store. Rent the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had trouble with that one. Uh, John, we have trouble sometimes, a lot of times. <laughs> Nerds are hard. Let me talk pretty one day. <laughs> so this is this is really good for people who subscribe to Rent the Runway. Um, mm-hmm. I, one of the things that I read, um, a pain point for them is you can't, so if you return a piece of clothing that you have rented, you can't rent more until they get the other piece back. But if you go to one of these drop-off points, and there are, are other drop-off points besides WeWork, if you go to the drop-off point, your subscription resets right away and you can actually, while you're there dropping off, you can, I guess they're going to have a terminal there or whatever, where you can um, order new clothes. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it that's takes cool. out that, that delay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's good. Cause it's, it's definitely, I mean, first of all, no runway is amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's, very expensive clothing that you can just rent um, and dropping it off. And it depends how you use it. Right. I mean, I've seen some women just use it every week, pretty much. Yeah, no, it's um, really cool. Um, for those who don't know what it is, it's basically a subscription service and you can pick different packages. Um, there's some that just start at like $30 per rental and it goes all the way up to, I think there's a subscription like $160 a month, but it's great for a woman who needs some really dressy clothes but doesn't need to wear dressy clothes all the time. Like you have a function or you have a job interview or you have a weekly thing that you have to do, or you're someone who works at home three days a week and two days you got to go in the office. Why bother? Why buy these expensive outfits? You can just rent these really beautiful fashion forward clothes. It's definitely cheaper than buying it. And your wardrobe is always updated. And who doesn't like that? Yeah. in places like New York where you don't, you, you can't, have a closet <laughs> yeah right you don't have a closet you don't have any closet you, you have clothes but you don't have a closet to put it in yeah 160 dollars a month doesn't sound too bad yeah exactly so one stat 90 uh, percent of the rent the runway subscribers are busy working women and the company had to increase their work work category by 250 percent just to keep up with demand and it's a good fit with we work because a lot of these entrepreneurial women work very close to we work locations because we works are everywhere in cities like new york yeah. At uh, that <laughs> time, we work now ranks as New York City's largest office tenant. So there's that. Uh, yeah. What's the number right now? 
Some crazy. Well, they have 268,000 members in 287 locations in 77 cities and 23 countries. <laughs> Is it 270 locations? I thought it was more than that. Uh, was, uh, this uh. We work locations. We're live Googling, folks. Um, Hold on. Uh, 472. My what? friends. 472 in 91 cities. Wow, this is old old math here. All right, let me change this. 472. <laughs> That's not even close, Bart. Whoever whoever wrote this number is 472. Number is incorrect as well. All right, let's start again. So we have some WeWork stats. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many members? Can you give me a member number? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't it's see. Got to be more than 268 if they've got almost <laughs> double the amount of locations. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, anyway, but 472 well, of his locations, 91 cities. 20, uh, I do not know 20. how many members. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, we're big WeWork supporters, so that's why we do these stories. We like the concept. We like working it. We, we like WeWork. Um, <laughs> and this rent the wrong way. Um, I, I see. I like. I like when they do these kind of partnerships because it's half half of the reason you go to WeWork is there's some sort of you know. Uh, convenience and also cost savings you know you work get to work in a in a cool urban environment without the rents and when you take this you know this concept of rent the wrong way which is almost the same type of thing where it's like you're you're getting the elegance at half the price um you combine the two i think it's a great partnership mm-hmm. absolutely we work also partner with j crew we did a story back that in, in february um so i think they're going to keep doing these these types of partnerships as we work seems to be dipping their toe more into retail I think only because of the fact that they have so much damn real estate um, makes sense. Yeah, and I think um, I think uh, from uh, just reading news, I mean, they bought the Lauren Taylor, or they're leasing the Lauren Taylor right. building, and they, I think they're going to put a whole bunch of retail on that one. Now, that would make sense. Um, that's that's their headquarters now, right? Or it's going to be their headquarters? Oh, it's, I, th- I believe that's going to be their headquarters. Yeah. Right, and then the, I think they left a floor of the Lord and Taylor intact. I think the bottom floor, I believe. Bottom floor, and then I guess they'll put all their retail in there, which would make total sense, especially mm-hmm. in a place like New York City. So pretty cool. All right, got anything else? That is it, sir. All right, there's e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.